Dolls. Dolls. We're back. We're here. Um, we're well into April. We're well. Yeah. Q2 is underway. Underwhelming? Under what? Is it underwhelming? No, it's just underway. Yeah. Hard to say at this point because it's so early in the Q2 game. You're having a radical Q2 with your hair. I am. It's looking fearsome today. Thank you. I had to like learn how to light myself correctly for a video because mm-hmm. I realized I was looking like trailer trash, honestly, in the last <laughs> couple of videos. Really? A little bit. I wasn't happy with it. And then I said, you know what? You can break my soul. And then I was like, I'll just figure out how to do it myself. It's kind of giving Senator. Okay. That is exactly where I didn't want it to go. <laughs> so back to the drawing board. Um, Wait, really? Yeah. I don't want Senator hair. It's like, like a newscaster hair. No, like public public figure You're hair. You're digging the grave public deeper figure hair. and deeper and deeper. I told you when I walked You're in. You're burying me alive. I told you when I walked in, I thought it looked fab. Thank you. But it I don't want fab. senator hair. All right. It's I not need senator to fig- hair. Well, it is. I just need to figure out how to like. I have triggered a wound so deep in you. Well, it's just exactly what me and my hairstylist and colorist talk about being the not the goal. Okay. Is like newscaster, senator. So let's just delete this. No, we're leaving it in. We're going to hold people accountable. Um, Me? You, but also. Are you upset? No, I just have other. I've had some hair trauma. I've I think had you're, some hair wait, trauma. Let me just let me just say. I think your hair looks amazing. Thank I you. told you when I walked in, you were concerned when I was here earlier in the week. You were like, I'm not liking the length. It's a little uneven. I thought it looked fab even then. Mm -hmm. And I could see when I walked in before you even turned your head to me. I said, she fixed it in my head. I think it looks great. Thank you. You look young. Thank you. And the platinum is shimmering. Thank you. So when I say senator hair, I just mean power hair. I appreciate that. And that's my fucking truth. And I'm not sugarcoating anything. I appreciate you being honest. I am honest. And I will. It's, you advise. know whose hair it is? Fucking Rosamund Pike and Gone Girl. Yeah. It, I've been getting Gone Girl a lot. And like, that's a good touchstone for me. But like, Senator, Newscaster, Rosamund much, Pike, and I, I care a lot. Anyone with a job, like a nine to five no, job, you no, you I don't, don't want to look okay, like that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you look like a woman who's on, who's, about to fake her own death yes. to implicate her husband you, that she hates. You're giving, Thank you. I am that cunt. Mm-hmm. That line she says. How about that? That's what I'm trying. Or I, and when she's in, I care a lot playing a fierce lesbian. Yeah. That hair too. Uh, scammer hair. I'm fine with. Yeah. Okay. So that's, let me have that. You may have it. Okay. I'm watching, speaking of Rosamund Pike, I'm so like, she's fascinating to me. I'm watching this Windsor documentary, The House of Windsor, like as if I can't watch, as if I haven't watched every fucking documentary about the royal family. You love the royals. There's, some, I'm not like a royalist, but mm, I'm. No. Oh no, you're not a royalist. No, I don't believe in the monarchy. You're a I'm, royalista. I'm a, I'm like a hen. I want to like pick and talk and gossip. Mm-hmm. But I'm watching this on Discovery, and Rosamund Pike narrates. Oh wow, is she of, British? <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, she's very British. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Wow. What can't she do? Remember when she won a Golden Globe and was like wandering around that hotel in that like Villanelle dress with like, and like kicking, she like kicked the elevator button. Oh, yeah. And she was wearing like Terminator boots. Is she a lesbian IRL? No, I don't think so. But she's definitely has queer coded energy. She's full of intrigue. I she's, like it strange Mm -hmm. she's in a new movie that i'm dying for it to come out called the rich flu oh what's that it's about a plague that only kills rich people and then it starts spreading into not rich people that's like tuberculosis yeah tuberculosis was like that and then it became like a beauty ideal for people to like look ill because it meant like you were wealthy if you got like tuberculosis how things have come around I know. Um, so let's 
let's take let's heal let's from, heal from let's this. heal and let's remember that sometimes when it comes to hair compliments less is always more taken you know i take it but I re- someone who I, I know on bo- I'm thinking of a bonus episode where people have like set like made comments about your hair before or like and like what remember there was like a bonus episode where they said you looked like a famous TV actor and we were both like how dare you who Ed O'Neill oh my god <laughs> I didn't want to say I just wanted to jog your memory I Okay, but no one is more radically transparent about my struggles with follicle I know, recession. I know. I know that it resonates I'm, with you as like a fellow hair. No, but struggler. I'm like I'm I'm all in. Like I will talk about it. I just all I meant was like you're giving cunt. Thank you. Um, we have to talk about someone I didn't realize was in the podcast game, and that's Howie Mandel. Yeah, where the fuck has he been? Truly the one person I never would have guessed (laughs) to interview a cast member of Vanderpump Rules, like an essential player in the Scandaval, Mr. Tom Sandoval himself. These, these If you had said, sat me on the edge of an active volcano and said, I'm going to push you over the edge. I'll give you 20 guesses on whose podcast Tom Sandoval will would go on or like what celebrity he would link with to like tell his story (laughs) volcano or gas i would be roasting in a volcano yeah it was well it's his daughter is she was the 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 girl hosting it with him is his daughter so she's a vanderpump head but is is it her podcast it's like they do it together okay so it must she, be nice to have a good relationship with your dad. Must be nice to, yeah, and a, a <laughs> to famous create, dad. Yeah. yeah. Um, so she's a pump head. So she's sort of, he she, was like, I didn't really know. He like doesn't know anything about what's happening, which is like okay, kind of annoying. that's cute. It's kind of cute, but it's also like, how dare you? Yeah. It's like, you're insinuating yourself. You're going to get the, you're going to get the clicks. You're going to get the views. Yeah. Your stolen valor. Oh, views are, it's. It was User through the roof. No, literally, I think it's like cl- approaching mill in the hundreds of thousands, like already. Well, because people are dying to know. Um, so she sort of is like the interpreter for him, for Howie. Which, like, where? What was the last thing Howie Mandel was in? He was like big in the nineties. Isn't he Price Is Right guy? No, that's Drew Carey. He's the bald guy that has suitcases. They open the suitcases. Guess the guessing game. The suitcase that Meghan Markle was. Yeah, oh. that's him, right? Is that Price of Right? No, that's no. not. It's like money of money slabs. Money in the box. <laughs> it's so these like game shows. I'm also like, who watches these like daytime game shows? A but of, a lot of people Laura, do. Like, half the country. I'm like, Pat guys, Sajak is get watch- to work. <laughs> Passage get off your ass and do something well they're probably watching it at work like on a little tv and like a recept like a doctor's office and it's always like these like cheesy dudes that get it's like cheesy dudes and lesbians that get picked <laughs> to like host these Who game in- shows yeah. it's like jane lynch ellen degeneres wanda wanda and then like RuPaul. every cheesy guy and then steve harvey who is singular he can do whatever yeah you're right it really is <laughs> They pick the the gays and the just not not really the gays. No, I well, I mean the gay the women. lesbians, the lesbians and Howie Mandel. Yeah, and like Alec Baldwin and well, Jimmy Fallon. They don't get us started. Yeah, anyway, can I just say there is a there is a giant poster on Sunset on like the facade of a building that is just Jimmy Fallon going <laughs> for his fucking music game. I literally like almost drove into Chin Chin when I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> i saw i too saw a billboard i was like good for him he really needed that yeah he really needs the money anyway so howie Mandel has fucking tom sandoval on who is like wearing a looking like his his style is so he dresses like a lesbian he is very lesbian coded but Here's the sad truth and something that I was grappling with watching this week's episode was that I absolutely would like fuck Sandoval. Yeah, me too. He's hot. But he's... 
He's the worst. He's the worst. He's obviously he's hot. Ariana was with him for a decade. I know. And even, you know what speaks to how awful he is, is that even she stopped fucking him after a while. Yeah. But you have to be. If you're hot. I mean, like, yeah, I'm sure everyone gets tired. Like, if you were eating filet for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you'd get sick of it after a while. But, like, if you literally are, like, like, I'm thinking of, like, the hottest guy I can imagine and your personality like the vibes would have to be pretty bad to get me to stop wanting to fuck a hot guy and I think they're pretty clearly they the vibes are good so Tom basically breaks down which I'm I'm a little like I was a little annoyed because now I'm like let's okay let's expedite this fucking reunion because I wanted to be shocked I wanted all the info to come out at the reunion and I wanted to go like this <gasps> and like not know anything I wanted to hear the story on set with Andy, with Raquel there, with Ariana. Like, I wanted that. I didn't want to see a person. I'm sorry, Howie Mandel, you don't deserve this info. Was he asking the hard-hitting questions? Uh, mostly his daughter. Okay. But so he, Tom broke down the sort of uh, inception of his love. Like, he's fully in love with Raquel. What did he say about... Raquel, he called her a genius, or he called her like incredibly smart. She's brilliant. She's a brilliant and a woman. wit, and a wit to match. Yeah. And so basically, they were boys' night. Uh huh. They stayed. They were probably doing blow, and they stayed up till the sun came up. And it was Rock, uh, Sandy, and Brett. Just like oh, the manager of Schwartz yeah, and Sandy's, just kind of like pussyfooting around and. Being silly. And then and then they sort of paired off and it was just Sandoval and Raquel. He was locked out of their house. So they went to the backyard of his and Ariana's home at their fire pit. He's also like casually just met, keeps mentioning how big their house is. I'm like, we get it. You have a huge house. Mm-hmm. So they It is have, huge. Five bedrooms. But he's like, our yard's pretty big, man. Like, we got a fire pit back there. So anyway, him and Rachel went to the back and were just sort of like looking up at the stars and the sun was coming up and they just kissed. I think while, possibly while Ariana was home sleeping. Which yeah. Was like, uh, but he said it ignited something in him and he he said it, it was a feeling he's never felt before. And so he, it sent him into a tizzy. He went into therapy for it and was like sort of like, trying to parse what was happening and he was basically like struck with the love thunder love lightning with Raquel and then he claims that slowly over the course of couples counseling with Ariana oh he was trying to break up with her Mm -hmm. and he kept dropping hints and Ariana didn't drop didn't get it or like wasn't picking up that he was like I'm I want out yeah and he kept being like theoretically if we broke up and all the while he was like, <laughs> he said he was fighting his urge to like plow Raquel. But mm-hmm. then he said at first they didn't do anything. And then, and then he, he like said, basically we were like, I was dicking her down left and right. And he said, and even when we weren't together, we were FaceTiming all the time, talking for hours every day, man. And just like, you know, it was really hard. He said he sounded so dumb, by the way. Like I was watching, I was like, "You're the dumbest man alive." The way he speaks, he's so he's pretty dumb. He's really stupid. But basically, he's like him and Raquel had this magnetic love, and that they tried to fight it, but they just when did they put, fuck first? I think like pretty quickly after they kissed. So he went to Mexico. He claimed, according to him, they hadn't fucked yet. I don't believe that. No, I don't believe that either. But in Mexico, confirming what we all suspected was that they were already doing the thing they were already fucking by mexico i think so they were at least had already kissed yeah it's very clear and tom didn't tom schwartz say on watch what happens live that they first fucked in august yeah yeah so i think he was like i don't think you go i mean to kiss someone like a drunk like a drunken kiss or whatever that wouldn't send me necessarily into therapy mode no they probably fucked in the backyard because did did he speak to the openness of he and ariana's relationship he the way he's framing it more is that they they weren't open but that he it was pretty clear i don't believe him by the way yeah i don't either but he says it's pretty clear that 
to him it was clear that their relationship was over he said they were like traveling separately i'm like they were hanging out separately i'm like well that's that's healthy boundaries. that's healthy boundaries but i mean not fucking for a huge stretch of time is definitely a sign that things aren't good yeah but so no or just zero like affection. no intimacy yeah any kind of intimacy it doesn't have to be fucking yeah but like even i would just assume that they're not like making out for like an hour or even like masturbating together yeah or like anything no. if it all stops for like i would say like a month you should really think about revving up your engines again so by January, he was like pretty sure it was, he was going to like tell her. And then she. So, and by then, he had been just fully fucking Raquel. Well, yeah, he brought her to St. Louis. Wait, for I'm dying. Did you, did you, I did love you see him that? being like, maybe by January, like, I think I'll, I'm fully ready to tell this person that the relationship is over. It's like, bitch, it's oh, It's like, I love that it took you all that time to d- decide you're fully ready well did you see the photos of them in st louis no tmz has they were in st louis over christmas there's a photo of them taking a picture in front of a statue did so, he speak to what ariana thought was going on no but apparently his his family was not happy with it and they were like i don't want to meet raquel where was ariana during this i have no idea but he i think he took rock to old st louis to try to be like meet the fam to him the way he's framing it which i'm like this doesn't make sense i don't know ariana but like from what i've gleaned of her as a like i don't think she she would not like i don't believe that he's just like it was over man she was just he's basically calling her delusional which is fucked up he from the gist that i got and i didn't watch the interview but a dedicated reader shout out mallory sent me (laughs) extensive notes via text um (laughs) <laughs> annotation annotation he made it sound like he really tried to like break up with this woman ariana and she just like couldn't process it and refused to let him break up with her and like refused to like oh, yeah, honor said, the breakup he said she punched him she punched him good for her okay here's the thing though if you're everything is a moot point if you're having a fucking affair i'm sorry yeah, also it's like if you're that's still really dishonest to be like I want to break up with you like and not say that you're also having an affair. I really believe that if he had been like, "Hey, babe, you need to sit down. I've been fucking Raquel for months and I'm in love with her and this relationship in my mind is over." I don't think that there's any way to refute that. And it's clear that that's not the approach he took. No. So he's trying to like wiggle out of like accountability. He is. And be, it's like if you're and also being like, let's go to couples therapy means let's work on our relationship. He's he's full of shit. And so he broke he breaks up with her. He says he breaks up with her on Valentine's Day. OK. Slay. But she's like, no. <laughs> Which I also am like, I like that work. I mean, on Valentine's Day, you're allowed to deny the breakup. You're allowed to be like, no, we have to like continue this until tomorrow at least. And then he says, as he's about to gear up to like tell her the truth. Again, I don't believe that he was ever going to say anything. No, I think he was going to be like, try and have like a clean break, carry on this whole affair so that things would seem amicable and they would be able to like separate their lives without yeah. any feelings of like vitriol yeah. from her. Which is, you're a liar. That's deceitful. He's deceitful. So he then tells Ariana. He says that Ariana suddenly turns, is a 180, goes a 180, and is like, they're connected. She's like listening to him. She's like engaged with him. And he's like, suddenly she's like, and he was saying it as if it was like bad. I'm like, what? this is this is just makes it worse. Well, that's bad when you're the one that wants out. And then all then also, this is truly the trademark of a nitwit is being like, let's go to couples therapy. It's almost like comedic, like a human comedy, because it's like, I went out. I'm no longer invested in this relationship. I've been fucking someone else, like our mutual close friend for a long time. I'm too much of a pussy to just be honest and straightforward. 
and I don't want to really face the consequences that come from my actions. So instead, I'm going to suggest all these things and try and maybe lead you to like being like we should break up and and then it backfires on you because all of that telling someone you want to go to couples therapy means true it does mean you want to work on your relationship it's such like a straight guy move it really is and also like i would so much rather someone be like here's the deal here's the deal yeah it this would be is hard. the truth it sucks and it's hard but that's so that's giving the other person a gift ultimately and it's more honorable and like as even if what you're doing is not honorable doing that is like there's some redemption and just being honest about it. You're honest and you don't lead them on and you accept the consequences of your actions. But here's, here's he's what not I a think. man. He's not, he's a fucking, he's thing. not a man. He's not a man. But here's what, here's the real thing is like from watching this, I think he, they both, I think the clandestine nature of it was made it more exciting. Oh, for sure. So I think he's leaving that part out that like, I don't, I honestly don't think they're going to last. No, I mean... No, you just sounded like her right there. <laughs> no. No. I don't think they're... I think this is like... This is a relationship. He was like, it was so exciting for us. I'm like, you're a fucking asshole. And so then he... The day they're going to the concert, the day that it all comes out, she's suddenly is like, I want to fertilize my eggs. And he's like... And in my head, I'm thinking, how could... He said it scared him. Because well, yeah, because now you're realizing that you're no, but he said her reaction scared him because he, t- according to him, he made it clear that they were done, and so her bitch, you did not make it clear. You did not. I'm make telling it clear. you right now, if a woman He's approaches getting... you, if a woman approaches you and says, "Can we talk baby. about fertilizing my eggs?" Like I want to talk about that. You've not made clear the fact that you want completely out and that you're done with this relationship i promise you i agree no woman is gonna do that no, unless I, I, they truly do think that there's a chance and if they think there's a chance you have not made it clear he's getting ahead of this reunion because he got apparently got like fucked <laughs> during with, the reunion. i made it really clear yeah and Bitch, he goes, you didn't and he goes oh yeah it really scared me i'm like you're a fucking pussy i'm sorry it really scared i you. love i thought i made it really clear and so then sounds like it was crystal clear. So clear. In fact, she was like, let's have a baby. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, whoever gets this version of Ariana, they're so lucky. I was like, fuck you. Fuck you. And also he goes, they go to the event, the concert. And he goes, you know, and all these fans are looking around at us. And Ariana suddenly, because everyone's looking, she makes starts kissing me. And I was like, this feels so f-. I was like, you're now being mean. You're fake. And then the phone fell out. Well, also, you're mean. That's mean. That's the way he's he's talking about her. Like she's like, he's like also like using her mental illness in the against her. I know the thing being like she's depressed for days, can't get out of bed. Well, yeah, Sorry, I get doll. that. That's ri- also called just like a depressive personality. That's how I am when I'm depressed. Also, when you're part, that's what you sign up for when you have a partner. You take them for their. The bad and the good. Yeah. If you're like a hundred percent committed in a relationship, you like understand how they process their emotions and you like work on stuff together. Like it's, it seems to me that they truly did grow apart. I mean, it's very clear by kind of the way that she treats Tom, that she hates him to some extent. (laughs) And I can't fault her for that because he is a true arsler but she loves him but she does love him and they do they have it's complicated because they built this life together well that's what he says he goes we were a brand man okay you're not a like no we built a, i'm like you, you're not a brand you wrote a book you glommed on to her book yeah that she wanted to write you ride her coattails and you bought a house together you bought a house that does not a brand make so then he's then he goes into like how they're doing it now is like they're living they have a, a middleman who like texts him and her, when they who texts the other when one of them is coming in or out? Are they living at the house at the same time? Yes, it's a big house, man. Like we're on either side of it. And that so, so they is... have someone like being like, "Hey, Ariana wants to use the the home gym. Like, can you leave for four? No, hours? yeah, that's hell. Yeah, that is straight fucking hetero hell. That is Night. hell on earth." Yeah. 
and he has an assistant come and like that seems also dangerous like yeah i mean and then rock is staying over with ariana in the house or when she's away when she's away which i think is fucked up too disrespectful ass wait i'm david he's a middle like how i hope to never ever over the course of my i've been in a place of like needing middleman and it is i don't like a middleman but sometimes you when you need a middleman you need a middleman but I guess who who gets punished. I have (laughs) moved past the chapter of like a middleman. You know what I mean? Like from the time that I have had to have the middleman moving forward, it's a a Z I'm, I want zero relationship where I think even a middleman could come into play. He's such a bitch too. He's like, I'm, you know, I'm the one who like, I get dinner, I stock like, and he's like, he's like, I'm the one that like takes care of the house. Okay, fucking congratulations. Cool. Congrats. It's called home ownership, you dumb twat. It's called that's in a partnership, there's one partner that does more around the house. That's just how it is. Yeah. You fucking idiot. I'm uh, s- I want them to talk about their like loans. You I bet they're both staying in the house cuz they would lose like lose money on it yeah. if they sold it at this point it because sounded, they're in debt. It sounded messed up. But I I don't Ugh. like that I don't like that Ms. Rock is no it's having sleep I feel like you can sleep at her vertical blinds apartment yeah go sleep in the if parking garage if you want to fuck by all means fuck in her jail cell of an apartment go fuck in her brutalist <laughs> studio apartment honestly her san quentin ass solitary confinement yeah. apartment fuck raquel and fuck tom sorry <laughs> sassy sassy sad no but like i i'm always like i kept being like i kept wanting to be like i blame him more but i'm like they both fucking suck i'm sorry but also saying like you can't do something to someone because they're gonna unalive themselves is like that's a cop out oh yeah also if that's true like that's kind of more their problem than your problem if you really want out and you want to like extract yourself from a situation that's bringing you stress and unhappiness yeah like you have to just own it, be honest, and then if they are having a problem, like you fucking call nine one one or like figure that out. But you can't just like not do something. That's a cop. I don't buy that. I don't either. I I th- and I think that that's like it's just a cop out. And again, it's using her like issues. Yeah, it's saying like I can't. It's like no, you are literally such a liar. And him, it's, it's liar, it's, Denise. <laughs> and it's him being like. Like she was so volatile that like if I even try it, like she would do something. Like that's I think that's so that is that's ug- inappropriate. That's a, that's an ugly thing to say about someone that you shared a decade with. And it's also a complete exaggeration. Lack of your just no responsibility. No. Anyway. Wow. I do just want to congratulate Sandoval though for achieving four days of sobriety oh that was my favorite part he goes yeah man like i'm fucking having four days of sobriety it's like things are really i'm like okay congrats (laughs) that's like a normal period of time to not drink or to go between yeah getting like fucked up four days sober man four days i haven't drank in four days it's he's, fucking crazy he's like i've like never done that in my life and like things are really st- that is a cause for alarm yeah go to a meeting also at your <laughs> age you're gonna get fatty liver it's also like why don't you go to a meeting or just go somewhere where like other people are dealing with it and like listen to them yeah just <laughs> i'm concerned about like four days is like, great I'm, Four. He hasn't gone ever four days without <laughs> having a drink. Yeah, and listen. I mean, like, I've been there, but damn, damn, damn. Well, let's get into speaking of Tom being a little ghoul. He said, "Wait, one last thing." He said he's not obligated to return to filming, which I'm like, "You better be." As your financial advisor, <laughs> you need to go back to work. Yeah. Honey, your band isn't going to pay the bills. Yeah, what do you... Your Schwartz expensive and, band? Schwartz and Sandy isn't going to... Your business partner is Tom Schwartz. <laughs> you need to work. Yeah, you need to work. You need to make some money. Because they're probably all, what, making like a million per season now? 
No. <laughs> well, what? No, no, they're not making a million dollars a year. I mean, Bethany Frankel was making a million per season. Yeah, that's Bethany Frankel. The, but before she like got like... Those housewives make a shit ton of money. Like yeah, the, but I don't think they bank like that on VPR. Mm-hmm. Also, like the season... This is like the lowest order, I think, for an, a batch of episodes for a season there's been in a long time. I mm-hmm. think... The financial downturn is real and we're about to like enter a recession slash depression and Tom's out here being like, I'm not obligated to go back to filming. I'm like, you're a fucking moron. I'm uh, like, I Ariana am said, not a fan of you, but like you need to go to work. We And we need him to be on the I show. I don't want him to be like unhoused. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't yearn for anyone to be like destitute on the streets. No. It's like. That's not I don't the think vibe. He, I don't think he would be. But no, but this is the downward trajectory. If he's a drinker to that extent and he decides that he's not going to go back to his primary source of income yeah. at this age, what else gonna what's he going to do? Fucking sell his house, be in debt, burn through all that money. Like who else is going to hire him? Bitch, right. go back to fucking work. Or go back to St. Louis. With love and light. You better... He said that Ariana, if she if they broke up, she would leave the show and move away from L.A. He said that she said that when they, he he said hypothetically, if we broke up, what would you do? But when they were in couples therapy, she said I would delete social media, leave the show, and leave L.A. and move move somewhere else. Wow. Maybe that it sounds like that might be her calling. To not live in LA. I mean, I understand that. Yeah, I mean, being like, <laughs> I think that's I'm like wrong. relatable queen. Anyway, but she should also go to work too. Yeah, now is th- now is the time to bank. Yeah, she is. She is. Yeah, I'm like when your options are limited, you just have to grin and bear it and go to work. She's booking and. I like being like financial advisor I know. to a bunch of fools. That's what you're. <laughs> Don't, Kitty. It's. I'm Carrie. I'm Lara. I'm Kitty. <laughs> I'm Lady. And you're listening to. Sexy, Sunksy, unique, unique podcast. Money. Senator. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to fucking God. I'm kidding. If you characterize me. Gone girl hair. Thank you. Uh, so we, we're still in like the two week long wedding festivity. I mean, this is Sheena's like. Sheena's wedding ju- lasts a lifetime. This is jubilee. <laughs> By this the way, we, is... should we live recap the King's Coronation? No. <laughs> what? Ha- Literally, those things are so boring. They're so boring. He has like, like a holy old <laughs> he, has a... Man. <laughs> he has a gold carriage that looks like a pumpkin. That is also in this in this current climate. <laughs> Melt that shit down. I, you and... <laughs> need to tread fucking lightly. You can't be riding around in a gold carriage. A gold carriage. If you People are starving. <laughs> Melt that shit down and give it to the country. Put it in like a safe somewhere and use it for your family when the royals get fucking canceled and you can't <laughs> leech off of the taxpayers anymore. You're going to wish that carriage was some coins. They're going <laughs> to... I love... The, <coughs> truly being like... Well, it's time for me to put my <laughs> <laughs> put my crown on, I know. get my gold pumpkin carriage, and ride over to the old Windsor. It's like read the room, At bitch. Dr- drive a Tesla or something. Yeah, no one wants to see cool that. That'd be kind of cool. You should <laughs> walk. You should walk. Yeah, I think they need to read the room a little. This is gonna uh, be a little. I'm sorry. I mean, no one wants to see that. People- they're like, oh, it's a bank holiday. <laughs> So everyone's gonna love the bank hold. It's like no people want money right now. No people want to work and they probably, want to, and they want to your stop money. paying taxes For so that. that you can ride in your pumpkin <laughs> and put your little furry cape on and you parade your jewels around that you pillaged from like other countries. Yeah. You guys are psychos They're for that. Wild. They should not have a coronation. They should have a Zoom coronation. They sh- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be so they funny. They literally should just do like a remote coronation. Yeah. But do you think the people of England are going to be thrilled to see want to go see sausage your fingers. asses <laughs> like have a day celebrating being a royal family? No. I would truly revolt. <laughs> now is the time. I'm sorry. Like, I'm tear it to shreds. If uh, I was in the UK, I would be lit. I'd have like five nose piercings and like punk hair. And I'd be like, 
God save the queen! Da, 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 da. Sex like, pistols. I'd be the fascist se- regime. I'd be like sex pistols. Like I mean, yeah. remember when they threw tomatoes at his car? They should do worse. Camilla, than- and they were in the car like. <laughs> it's time to. It's time to revolt. Oh. I'm not inciting anything. You're insurrecting against. I do love a good insurrection. <laughs> I will say insurrection no, is it's good crazy. for business. They should fucking melt the gold down and put. They need to. I'm sorry, Britain. Get your shit together. Don't let this happen. Don't let this fucking Don't let clown. This fucking guy go parade through town <laughs> this in a ugly gold... man in a gold chariot. That's crazy. To He's me. so okay. That's psychotic. Anyways, but how did we? <laughs> um. La, oh, Sheena's wedding. Oh, the so Sheena, the, wedding. the jubilee of, of Playa del Carmen. Uh, we're Sheena's coming up. having like a traditional, like her wedding is like how Indian weddings last over a period of seven days and have a million different things. Except and Azu- in... it's the Azusa version of that. Yeah. Where it's like <laughs> you have like a hibachi dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Sheena, she, she's still, it's still like. The white party, the scowlers are still scowling. And then Tom and Raquel are kissing and everyone's cheering. And then Raquel's like, should we go somewhere more private? And they go behind a fence and smack lips. And she goes, his lips are really soft, like soft, sweet kisses. I'm like, you're you're sick. You're sick. And you need help. <laughs> they are gross. They're No, but I'm like, you're talking like a... They're fishy. Yeah. They're fish lips. She goes, I'm thinking maybe this could be something. I'm like. Liar. You're a liar. You're getting dicked You're down. You're fake ass You're bitch. a fake ass friend. And she goes, I really am digging this. And then Maloney and, <laughs> and co go back to Lala's room with James and Allie. And James walks in and he goes, oh, you've got a fucking mansion. <laughs> Lala with the flex of getting the biggest room she could possibly get. I would, she goes, oh, are yours like smaller or something? Love. I was like, I know that game. I like it. Sheena calls but on the beat once again. She- Never a day off with Sheena Shay. I said, I wrote, <laughs> I wrote in my notes that aren't with us right now. Sheena goes, she goes, hey, um, I know that you're not at my party and like, we'll talk about that tomorrow. But... <laughs> Did you hear what happened? Tom and Raquel made out. And everyone goes, what? Katie's face? I was like, oh my God. Katie's sitting there like this. (laughs) Katie has gone. Truly, she's in a waking coma. And uh, the other fake ass friend, Christina Kelly, grabs. She clutches her forearm. Right then, Christina gets super close and like links her arm. I was like, you're loving this. I, I said I told Laura she's the poor man's Olivia Palermo. She is Suspiria. She's always there every time something horrible happens. She is. Ready to like comfort. Yeah. I'm like, you're you put a curse on this woman. Katie goes like this. She knows, I have to see what happened. I didn't even see it, but I'll call you right back. I'll give you the scoop. And she then, goes, Yeah, I'm a little upset that you're not there anymore. And Lala <laughs> goes, I don't care. I love she goes, uh, where are you tonight? Lola goes, I went to dinner and then I came back to my room. And she goes, well, I'm really upset that you missed the white party, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. <laughs> She's a true worker bee giving people a docket of what will be discussed the next day. <laughs> she is. And then dropping some news. On the itinerary, it's every morning from 8.30 to 10.30, it's discussions. Mm-hmm. Discussions are to be had. Conversations are had. And Sheena will give you a list like probably the night before. Like you need Things to it. think about. She'll have an assistant being like, talk about the white party. Like just yeah. writing everything down. So then Sheena calls back with Brock who saw the whole thing happen. And she was like, Brock, tell them what you saw. And he's like, I saw Schwartz and, Schwartz and Raquel making out. He's and like, then, I thought it was great. And they're like, and then Lala's like, why would you think that's great? And he goes, because I want Tom Schwartz to be free and happy. And they just say, like, he's like, yeah, we saw everyone cheered. And Katie's like, <laughs> Katie is like a corpse at this point. She's mummified. I saw a video that someone was trying to assert that Rock and Brock fucked. Oh, yeah. Someone commented on our, like, thing they were like thoughts on the rumors that Raquel fucked yeah, Brock. Like, I was like no move along. Move along. 
I refuse to acknowledge that. No. Even though we just did. But yeah, Katie, now imagine being in her situation. She a bit did this herself by coming to Mexico, but it Tom- would be incredibly hurtful to know that everyone cheered when you're. Yeah, it's sad. Ex- Tom Schwartz is continuing to just be a terrorist. Also, I just like would never, I don't think, find myself in a situation where I would have garnered such bad will amongst people and then yeah. decided to show up uninvited to someone's wedding. Guess what I would have done at that point? What? Gone to the airport. Totally. Head back, lay low for a while. I'd grab a camera guy and say, you're coming with me. Yeah. And then I would go to Tom's like house like and key his car. And like piss on his front walk. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shit on his front step. Yeah. Or go break into his Or apartment. no, his shitty little apartment. I'd shit in... <laughs> Leave his shit in front of Joe's in the door. Sink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joe's back at home. Yeah. Um, so So Lala goes to James, she is, your ex fiance is a fucking whore. I was like, Ooh. It is scary to me that Raquel gets so much pleasure out of moments like this. I think Lala, like She's triggered. Lala's triggered and she is gaslighting at points and like kind of being a hypocrite at some points of like saying like i didn't make fun of you but i do think that she kind of called it yeah she knew she she had her she had some psychic tingles going on i'm glad though that the news about scandaval dropped because lala would have been coming off really poorly this whole time i still would be freaked out by raquel getting just like so much pleasure out of the Schwartz thing because it is very strange to have looked Katie in the eye twice and had two times once to Katie and once in front of her mother being like like to be admonished by someone's mother would really stick with me again I you know what I would do at that point head to the airport (laughs) I had to, I'd head to LAX, straight to LAX. They're straight to Cedars and straight to LAX. Straight to LAX. Um, James goes, yeah, <laughs> Schwartz loves her. He wants to fuck her. He wants to fuck her deep in the ass, up the pussy. Every, I was like, oh my no, God. First he goes, Allie's yeah, here. he's crazy about Raquel. Who isn't? <laughs> and it cuts to Allie and she's like, he's like, he wants to fuck her up the puss, up the ass, in the mouth. And then Allie goes, you guys are disgusting. I'm leaving. And she goes, bye, Lala. <laughs> James is, by the way, James and Ad, he's the next person that maybe needs to take a break from, from Allie. Just give her some space. If you're going to rant and yeah. rave about your ex in front of your new person. I love who wouldn't. Who doesn't? Allie's like. Also, James is an incredible man. He's amazing. I <laughs> he's love him. So good. I love his gay panic. He, yeah, it really jumps, jumps out in this episode. But I love. He's he's fucking. Him. He wants to fuck it deep, deep, in the ass, in, in the, the pussy, rail her on the in the mouth. He says, "Oh my god, I was like, good lord, James!" And then he felt he's like, "Oh, now I'm in trouble." He's like, so "I'll then, go." So then it cuts to like Sheena's post white party, like Molly party. Oh yeah, right. They were all. They were really. They were rolling. Yeah. And Tom Sandoval is like outright flirting with Raquel like you can see the attraction oh it's Ariana sitting there Ariana hasn't seen any of like the makeout so she's sitting at the table with Sheena Rock who's wearing sunglasses and then Sandoval's in Ra- Raquel's ear going Raquel I was like this is making me nervous it makes it was, me sick and you can see Raquel's face like this She's barely containing her. Like, she loves this. No, and then Ariana's like, Tom, shut the fuck up. You're being annoying. He goes, she goes, why do you keep saying Raquel? Oh, if she only knew. And he goes, because she made out with Swartz. And she goes, what? You did that? Now I need details. And then Raquel's like, yeah, and we made out ankle deep in the pool. And everyone cheered. And everyone cheered. And Ariana's like, well, this is going to make my life hell because of Katie. <laughs> She's literally like, oh, my God, old pumpkin head is going to. You can kind of see like Sheena, too. They're all kind of like about Raquel. And then it, it's s- really going ro- like it's a bold move. But 
even by sicker bees. is like she loves this it. was all just like a cover up for the true shit that you were pulling like every move that you make where you're but it's bizarre that all the moves she makes to cover it up are also moves where that involve fucking or kissing someone else's man it's oliver it's so she's she is like a really destructive person i'm sorry i'm not it's not it takes two to tango is that what is that it's destruction yeah i think on both ends but there's something more to it like the because that's such a pattern of someone being taken and then you're like taking them i don't know what it means i don't know i don't relate i don't either she's chaos she's chouse and then tom throws his key to schwartz's hotel key he goes here raquel here's schwartz's key and he throws it at her and then Ariana's like, Tom, shut up. You're so annoying. And then Raquel goes, yeah, that was weird. And then he slaps her ass. He slaps Raquel's arse. And she goes like this. If I was re-watching this, like as Ariana, I'd burn the house down. Yeah. Me too. I'd go full t <laughs> <laughs> Left eye. Left eye did that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Left eye did all the iconic things. Damn. She was the original person who did the thing. <laughs> Everyone partying. You know T-Boz is dating. Um, yeah. They're so cute. They're and hot really together. hot together. And she's like always posting videos with his family, like all the Lawrence brothers. They're like, beautiful. Or not T-Boz. Sorry. Chili pepper. Just chili. Chili. <laughs> Wait, can we cut this? <laughs> no, cut this. No, please. we're not no, cutting Lord, chili pepper. I can't handle the, I can't handle the like, the patreon people <laughs> fine chili is dating matthew lawrence so chic <laughs> she is i called her chili pepper <laughs> chili pepper kills me anyway they look hot together i know where your head was at i love them together they're really cute um when I, I was obsessed with every time like people are having fun, like partying, cutting loose, feeling free. And then it cuts to like Katie's dead zone room. Sitting in bed. Two mummies are <laughs> hanging out. And then Lala comes in and, she's, and Katie's like, get in here. Get in bed. Get in bed. And she's like, I'm filled with hate. I texted Schwartz and I'm like, bitch, no. And then we cut to Schwartz and he's like, He's passed out. Passed out. His feet are hanging off the bed and he has galaxy lights playing. The thing about the text is, I know she just can't help herself, but the thing to do in this situation would have been absolutely saying not a thing. Let this person sweat and like live in a state of unclarity and fear because he has to know on some level that you know play it cool play it so cool make him worry and like and then, be extra nice and then or just like be unavailable have zero reaction and then when the time is right you strike and you <laughs> fucking humiliate them but she it's hard i mean that takes so much self-control like i don't know if i would be able to do it but, but she's giving him power by doing all this I know, and he wants the reaction that's part of why he did it in the first place so then she needs to read the art of war. We all do. <laughs> Anyways, we she, cut to Sheena, Rock, Courtney, and Ariana go to a cave. And Raquel. Yeah, I said Rock. Oh, Rock. I said Rock. Brock. No, no, no. They go Rock. to a cave and then later I think they eat dinner in that cave. I think it's a different <laughs> cave, but I too was like, is this it, the same cave? It looks like Splash Mountain. It really is. I want to go in there. <laughs> Raquel goes like this. <sighs> She's still rolling. Raquel is the descent. She is that girl. She is. Juno, who like f- fucks the girl's man and then he dies. That's why she's so comfortable in the cave. And then the girl member at the end, she kills. She lets her get eaten by the... Because she fucks. She, then she, she let another friend die. I have chills. What did I say? Bad. Bad female friend. Sheena's pearl hair. Wild. <laughs> I like it. Um, yeah, everyone's like hungover and slash Molly hungover, which is the worst hangover of all. 
Ariana, I can always read The Hangover so well. Mm -hmm. And I, because I've been in the same hungover state, I feel like as a fellow depressive, like, same. I really feel when she's hungover and she's very hungover, but her hair looks really good. She always looks good. Wait, I truly, I'm I know. Tr I'm stimming from the fucking Raquel is the descent. No, but I'm also just like, I'm truly, and I know like this is, I keep saying this and it's like rhetorical at this point, but like, I, I don't know how I would be. I would not be able to be around the person whose partner I was fucking. If I like, that Raquel can just so easily laugh with her, laugh with her, go to a spa, like recap. Like I would be, mind you, how do we know? Like, did she and Tom fuck that night? They're definitely like flirting. I mean, I, I just would be like, I would have, I would be throwing up. I mean, I would, I would, I would, I would, you know where I would go? To Olieto. Straight zone. to the airport. <laughs> you know, the first prop plane home. I would be. Yeah, I don't know. And the fact that she carries on this like <laughs> Schwartz <laughs> this Schwartz parade. Oh, it's fucked up. Is like when she's like I was actually thinking, what if I walk down the aisle with Schwartz instead of Joey and then FaceTimes him and asks him and the fact that he participates in this like joking thing is so cruel and like clearly he has so much pent up rage and anger and hatred for Katie that, and he's also not a man. He's like, he's not smart. He's not smart. He's not able to own his own feelings and decisions. So instead it comes out like in this way of doing like really childish, hurtful things that live on in perpetuity. Like forever now people can see you act like this fucking glib. It's almost like giving like, Carrie at the prom yeah just like they're they're like mean teens like pranking someone it gets into mean teen zone especially in this cave i think raquel is actually like kind of a mean person yeah this is cruel she's a cruel cruel to take person. this much pleasure yeah. in something she's, it's like it's a bizarre she's a real wit <laughs> it's a true wit so smart yeah and tom's like yeah fuck yeah let's do it I love Sheena's sister chimes in. She goes, well, hopefully Katie has another reservation tonight with a good view. I was like, snap, but yeah. also so mean. Courtney. And then they showed a zip line. I was like, Ooh, this resort is like, has everything. I know. I've everything been... I don't really want when I'm on like a luxe vacation. Um, James and Allie hang by the pool. James looks like Jude Law and... He looks sexy. Mr. Ripley. Mm -hmm. And then Tom comes over and I'm like, his stinky ass walks over and he's like, hey, no one wants to hang with me. Will you hang with me? No one wants to hang. Everyone's outside. You know, he smells so bad. He smells like fart and like Molly breath. And James goes, oh, mate, you know what you did last night? I, I think what you did was kind of shitty, mate. And he's like, what did I do? He goes, I didn't do anything. And he goes, you stuck your tongue down Raquel's throat last night. And he's like, no, no, I didn't. And he's like, yeah, I did. And it's just like, oh my God, you're sick. You're a sick man. And James goes, she's my ex fiance, mate. And then, and then, uh, Sandoval grabs his, sh or Schwartz grabs his shin and he goes, don't touch my leg. Just put his hand on his knee. Cause he's like, gives this explanation. He's like, Katie told me that I couldn't make out with Raquel, which is like so middle school. Cause like we're divorced now. Like what, what do you care? So really I was like sticking it to the man. It's like Jeez. your characterization is so off base. Like, yeah. and your version and narrative of yeah. what this is, is so wildly off. Like just, just deranged pure derangement ali by the way is like this <laughs> james is like man don't touch me man don't touch my leg man i'm like <laughs> I think, mm. the boner started to creep and james had to shut it down and shorts goes why can't i touch you he goes what i've been like a sad sack of a human being for six months i was like for your whole life for your actually. whole life whole adult life and he's like D -d i hoped that the kids with raquel would like bring me back i'm like this has to be like 
he has to kind of know that Tom and Raquel like hooked up at this point. I, I don't know what's going on. I think he's honestly maybe doesn't know, but he's or maybe he. I think he might just be enjoying hurting Katie. Yeah. I don't think it's really about. I, I don't. I. I don't know if anyone knows about Schwartz and Raquel at this I point. I love him being like, "We're sticking it to the man." I'm like, "You are the man, and you're the problem." So, like, anyone doing anything that hurts you would actually be sticking it to the man. Yeah. You're. You're just doing exactly what the man does. And cut to the hibachi Benihana dinner. <laughs> well, Lisa meets with old Billy oh, yeah, Greg. I, I, I kind of glossed over those. Yeah, he climbs out of his grave to meet her. And she's like, open the restaurant. He's, she's like, do it. Will you promise me you open on the 31st? And he's like, I literally can't I do can't. that. Goes, Just open it, even if it's not nice. Just open it. <laughs> she's like... Have some tea. Honestly, Greg. I like, trust her business acumen. She's like, people will come. She's like, people will eat anything. Trust me. I own <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, you must open by the 31st. I will get it done. And then she FaceTimes the Toms and she's like, I just met with old Greg. When he says you can't open by the 31st because you haven't even submitted a drinks menu. And they're like, no, I did that. Oh, no. I'm like, what's the truth? There is no truth. There literally is nothing. Lisa's like, do it. I've made a career off opening <laughs> half open businesses. Lisa could dig a hole in the ground, put a sign outside of it, <laughs> and charge people money to like go sit in the hole and eat a plate of dirt. They would. <laughs> and they would do it. Yeah. Lisa could, she could sell anything. Whatever she's selling, people are wanting. I was by pump the other night. It was rocking. I know. You've been begging me to go to Schwartz and Sandy's, even though you know that it's like horrible. Why not? I know. That's what I'm saying is they should just open. And Maybe I'll get a chance to see Jacob already, already earthing. Ellery? Earthing on Franklin. <sighs> Sheena and Lala finally have their discussion. And Lala, she <laughs> says something. She goes, this wedding means more to you than it means to us. She goes, this is a really big, important thing for you. It might not be the same for us. We're here to celebrate you and support you. But like, please know that like, I have other things that I'm focusing on right now, other than your Jubilee. I was like, you're bold for that. And Sheena's like, well, she's like, mm -hmm. okay. Sheena's such a chill. She's cool, girl. She's, she's fucking cool. Speaking, girl. Of God, speaking of gone girl. Yeah. She's chill. She's chill vibes. Yeah. This she's weekend. like, all right, whatever. Well, I got to get ready for this party. And I was like, damn Lala. Like Lala's too Lala's like, I won't be coming to any of your events. She goes, we're having dinner off site tonight. I was she's like, like, she was like, you coming tonight to Hibachi? And she's like, I won't be coming to dinner. I'm going to be going off site for a meal. I was like, where are you going? To a <laughs> yeah. Cave. Drop the name. <laughs> she's going to a, she's going to one of those, um, what are those caves with the plunges in like Mexico? The, I don't know. Yeah. Um, She's reminded too much of Rand's mistresses by old rock. Oh, well, yeah. She, she says, I'm telling you, this girl's giving me the kind of girls that would like come around and like fuck Rand. And then she goes, I, I don't really see that. And she goes, I swear to God, 100%. She knew. She knew. Look, Lala's been out there. She knows. She yeah. knows these things. She's met, you know, people like she's been in the scene. Like she she was married to that guy. I just don't I guess I don't understand the I like I don't understand the allure of Randall, Tom Schwartz. Tom Sandoval, I kind of do, but like just from like a hit the his looks, everything else about him, I don't understand the allure. It's it's like it, these people are just so like mid level. They're all so mid. Yet Ran people are like dying to fuck them. It should boost anyone's confidence listening to this. Vanderpump Rules guy. It's been a mid off since 2013. Mm -hmm. The guys have just been midding off with each other. It's shunking. It's shunking. And, like, the girls, like, they still have girls that are, like, clamoring to fuck them. If you give someone a little bit of fame in TV, people will fuck them. But everyone should just act. 
But that's not how people Their are. Their inner confidence, your inner confidence should skyrocket and be like, if these truly, these are like amoebas, like single cell <laughs> organisms is how smart they are. And like true loser vibes. Mm-hmm. If they can have people lining up around the block to fuck, you are, you can literally fuck anyone you want. Yeah. Rock and Schwartz sit next to each other at Hibachi. I was like, why you got to bring your toxic energy to this beautiful space? And then James and Allie walk in and then Schwartz is like, uh, do you want to sit next, sit here? And it's next to Sandoval. And you see Raquel go, uh, sure. Oof. I was thinking this is dark, but I was thinking that they were like grazing fingers. They were. Oh my God. Oh, Ariana was on the other side. Didn't see. I know for fa- like, I, I swear. I feel like. Sandoval was like running his hand up her like I feel sick to my stomach I know I feel like I'm gonna again I would be if I were Raquel and that if I was I would go and throw up all over her bocce <laughs> I just like it's there's so many more episodes of these moments that are just gonna ramp up and ramp up and get worse and worse I like know. this is just the beginning this- uh, Lala said on Watch Robin's Live she was like there's a scene in the finale or in some upcoming episode between Ariana and Raquel, like a conversation they have that is so shocking and sick. Like she was like, I could not believe it. She, Andy, she was like, you know what I'm talking about? It was like, I know it's absolutely out of control. I cannot believe it happened. This woman is like, she's, she's unwell. She's really unwell. Um, and then James and Raquel start going at it and he goes, he goes, yeah, well now I'm, he's like, I'm in, I'm in love more than I've ever been in my life. Found the love of my life. He goes, never really was in love with you. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> he goes, sits down Schwartz mumbles something to him and James he goes, I'm allergic to the bullshit. And then he's like, then Schwartz and rock are like flirting and Schwartz goes like, we're anti-establishment for making out. We're rock stars. And she goes, yeah, we're rock stars, baby. And I was like, you guys could not be less rock star. You're not rock star. You're not rock star. Dolls. You're le- sitting next to a fucking rock legend, yeah. James Kennedy, but you're not a fucking rock star. You're groupies. Yeah. Not even groupies. No. Cause groupies are iconic. Yeah. You wouldn't be allowed in. No. You're, you're outside the VIP. You're literally door. fish. You are. They're You're carp. floppy fish. They're carp. You are carp. That's nice to carp. Because aren't carp koi? They're l- minnows. They're trout. Fish. <laughs> I love James. James is clearly like still obsessed with Raquel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James reads rock to filth. He goes... So you made out with Peter, you made out with Schwartz, anyone else in the friend group you're going to make out with? And I was like, if he only fucking knew. She goes, I'm having fun and living my life. (laughs) He goes, I think you're just kind of lost right now. And I was like, damn. Damn, James. He's psychic too. When he knows, when he's right, he's right. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about James. He goes, well, I'm in love love with my life. Never been more in love than I am right now. I don't think I was ever in love with you, so I'm glad we didn't get married. She goes, me too. I am so, thank God. God. And then Allie's like, (laughs) She says that as like (laughs) Samuel's like hand is in her asshole. I know. He's like fingering her a little. Thank God. Allie goes, I'm not get up and go say goodbye to the girls. And she goes, fucking Katie, Lala, and Christina Kelly, like, saunter into this hotel lobby. And I was just like, oh, my God, like, poor Katie right now. Christina Kelly goes, let's get a drinky. I was like, you're not drinking. You're not drinking. You're, so, so stop Ka- saying that. Katie's getting a drink. Katie's going to get, you're going to encourage Katie to get a drink she shouldn't be having. Lala looks stunning in the glowing glare. True, like, Beauty. sober queen. Sober glow. She really makes me happy to not be drinking. Yeah. Because I'm like, we all have that Maybe. awaiting us. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then Katie's like, Christina Kelly's like, um, I'll have a sparkling water, which is like a hint of pineapple. And Lala's like, ah, oh, the same sparkling water. And Katie, I thought she ordered a vodka Prosecco. I was like, oh my God. But I think she ordered just a glass of Prosecco. I have a glass of Prosecco. And I thought go, she said, I'll have a vodka Prosecco. I was like, 
And Christina uh, goes, ooh, celebratory. <laughs> I was like, you shut the fuck up. I know. Just stop it. Just have, she should just fucking drink. I know she's pregnant, but like, just have a, have a drink in solidarity. Might as well. Yeah. Or just have a glass of wine. Spit. Yeah. Um, a- Allie comes out to like meet the girlies and like sits with them. And then James brings her a plate of food. I'm also like, why did you went to two dinners? Allie just like is like fuging and needs to be away from Raquel. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get it. That's like bizarre. And then <clears throat> Schwartz comes out into the lobby. I think with with Sandy, and they start ordering drinks and talking. And then La- he tries to like approach Katie, and Lala plays interference, and she's like, "You need to get out." Like. She's not in the mood and this yeah. is a big deal. Yeah. He's like, well, I'm getting a silly and stupid. Mm. She goes, it wasn't. And Katie goes, he looks like a sweaty pig right now. I like that. Me too. I did like when later when she called him a drunk. Mm-hmm. I was like, finally. At cave dinner, girls night. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I wanted to be there. I know. I liked this cave. It was kind of epcot Yeah. K- this is when Katie goes, I want to light them both on fucking fire. Your favorite moment. I know. And then James <laughs> is there with the girlies. Yeah. And when Katie said that, Lala goes, I have chills. And James goes, me too. <laughs> gay. <laughs> yeah, true. It takes a gay to have chills. You honestly, like, <clears throat> you only have chills if you're a woman or you're gay. Yeah. Like me. Or you're a gay woman. I have chills. My mom, when we see movies, she'll turn to me and go, I have chills. I don't think straight men have chills. No. They've never had a They're chill They're too in their disconnected life. from yeah. their own bodies and emotions. James is just really in tune. <laughs> Katie's like... Me too. Me too. <laughs> Katie's like reading Schwartz and fucking Rock. Mm. And she's like, you fucking drunk imbeciles. And James goes, 100, 100. Ah, <laughs> yes! <laughs> then Sheena, meanwhile, is just chilling with her bridesmaids. And she reveals she's been married for a year. Yeah, she goes, last year we signed a piece of paper and it was like to get Brock's green card and everything. So yeah, and then they all go, what? As if they didn't know already. She goes, yeah, so this is technically our one year anniversary. We go, love. Sheena. She I goes, love her surprises. I know. Was that the next morning? She was, we got married for us. No, that's the night before the oh, wedding. Oh, oh, oh. It's like they everyone's chilling, having like PJ mode. She goes, my first wedding was very high pressure. And she goes, this wedding, it's for us. I love that. She is chill bride. Yeah. I did love her crop top era, though. I did, but you could see the pain in her eyes. Well, yeah. And she was so stressed and like mad at everything. I was like, this isn't making you happy. No. And she was like, when I got married the first time, I had a pit in my stomach the entire day. And I just thought that's normal. But now I know this is how it's supposed to feel. Yeah. I wrote Sheena's the Kim K of the show. She is. Rock decides she doesn't want to walk with Schwartz down the aisle anymore because he's a fucking liability. Yeah. Um, you could tell she was like really upset about that. Yeah. And then she also wanted- I'm like, you don't like this person. No, you <sighs> You have no I chemistry even, with them. It's like crazy to me. It's cr- it's can't craziness. Even the compartmentalization and the and the the lying and the deceit. It's so deceit. It's a you're, masquerade. Also, you're in like, you're not only like lying to Ariana. You're lying to like a full room of people. Like you're lying to the the world. You're lying to the entire United States of America. And more importantly than the entire United States of America, she's lying to Sheena. I know. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? How dare you How dare on you? Sheena's beautiful special weekend? Sheena on the beat? Not so much right now. No. She Well, Sheena had to take one personal day off to get married. <laughs> she's out of office. <laughs> she's oh, she's replying automatic email replies for 24 hours so she can marry the love of her life. I'll be back on a beat a day after tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll be on the beat before you can even know it. Yeah. Um the next day at her everyone's getting ready and she goes popping bottles and then like, takes and I was I like love, I love she her bachelorette party we have arrived <laughs> I love it I love it so much I want my inner monologue to be like Sheena like my like pot like 
if I get into like positive vibes only mode and really rewire my brain and my thoughts, I feel like at their best, my inner monologue could be, we have arrived. When you got your gone girl hair, you went, we have arrived. No, when I got it, I actually like cried and got frustrated and scheduled an emergency haircut and then canceled When you got it. your emergency head cut, you went, head cut. Head cut. You went, we have arrived. Um, Ariana is capturing every moment for Sheena's vlog. Love. And then meanwhile, the the wedding gets underway and then it cuts to old Cricket's <laughs> McScowley room. Scowls, Scowls Maloney and Scowls Kelly are up on the balcony overlooking the entire soiree. Fucking Scowls Kelly is laying in the bed and she's like, I am like curious like what it looks like, aren't you? And Katie's like, no. And she goes, well, I'm going to go check it out. She's like, Raquel and Tom are like supposedly walking down the aisle together. And Katie's like, okay. And she's like, aren't you curious? Like what it looks like? I'm going to check it out. I was like, you are evil incarnate. But was Kate, what was she going to do? Hide inside while the wedding happens? I don't know. They're both psychotic for being there. And then they go out and just watch in their bathrobes, which I was like, this is, you guys are, I would bird box it with like the blindfold. on. Why don't you go to the spa or go to lunch? Go to the cave. Yeah. Take to the cave. Take to the cave. Or take to LAX. Sheena, with her veil, <laughs> goes straight to the airport. You know what I would do at that time? Head to the airport. I'd go right to the airport. I'd get out of there. <laughs> I'd go to Cancun International and fuck, get the fuck home. Sheena's veil drama. I love her just being so... She goes, oh, what do you think, guys? Should I take it off? Like You can tell that she doesn't want to be cool about it, but she's channeling chill girl vibes. And she goes... She takes it off. She goes, it's okay. It's okay. My childhood, like me as a gay child, like running around my house with toilet paper strands and like attaching them to me and like doing like I, that was giving like a fantasy for me of having the veil like rippling in the wind. I was Mm -hmm. like, keep it on for the drama. I know she could have kept it on. Like I would have been gagged. They should have, you know what they should have done is set up a huge Beyonce style fan that would blow the veil the right direction. Or just have like one of your bridesmaids hold it. Yeah. Get your sister. It's like, yeah, I wanted the, I just wanted to see it rippling. Summer moon looks so cute. She's precious. Does she have like bronzer on? No, she's very tan naturally. She's beautiful. She knows I could be at the back of Sir Alley and gay pride getting married and I wouldn't care. (laughs) It's like, you should actually do that. She should have several weddings. I love those two. Those are the two, the two hallmarks of the entire show. Mm-hmm. The back alley and gay pride. Kate, old scowls, Kelly and Maloney shut the balcony door and come back inside. And Katie like barrel rolls onto the bed and she goes, ugh. and K- Christina Kelly ever the fucking friend. She goes, I mean, that looked very beautiful. I was like, this is giving like that moment in Frances Ha when she goes to Paris and like never leaves bed and then flies home. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. It's like, why did you come here? You're just laying in bed. Mm-hmm. You're not doing anything. You could do that in your house. Go home. Yeah. Go home. Christina's like, I only have a white dress. Too bad for Sheena. Yeah, they're going to dinner. Yeah. And then Allie and James have a moment where James like tries to express public affection to her and she goes i'm blushing stop stop right now <laughs> <laughs> she's a boundary queen i know katie's texts to schwartz are unhinged arrested emotional development it's like fuck you i hate you so much the hate and anger i feel towards you is i can't even describe it's like i hate you i hate you i hate you like three times in a row i'm like katie my yeah, god my girl. goodness my absolute goodness do less Schwartz and Rock continue to flirt. <sighs> and then we get a shot of Peter. I forgot he even existed. Peter was in a blackout the whole time. He was such a key player at like the top of this season. Where why did they just they they threw, must have, they cast him aside. I wonder if they went back cuz I know they went back and enhanced some things or like I don't think they did. Peter like what was he doing this whole time? I think that he like ceases to exist when the cameras are off him yeah like he is the invisible man he's a tulpa what's that it's like a being that it's like slender man is a tulpa it's like created from groupthink. 
is Peter even real? He's a like, meme. I know he is, but he also, like, is not. He was willed into existence just by our pure imagination. He's a he's the you gotta empty keep man. eyes on because he like works at Sir. This is I'm like he this man is a hologram. He follows me on Twitter. I love that. Sheena gets her beautiful dream wedding. So happy for her. It's a long ass episode. This was a long, a little too much of the Sheena's wedding, but I love it for her. I'm happy for we her. We did it, baby. That's what she says. <laughs> um, the wedding, the party looks fun. Everyone's like casual. Yeah. And Christina, Kelly, and Katie go to dinner on site again. And what? Go home. Yeah. Go. I would be like, I literally would be like, I will go. I, if I were Christina, and this is not how she would be, but if I like could possess her, I'd be like, we are going to pack our bags and leave right now. We can be home within two hours. I booked us a first class ticket. Yeah. I would also. Do you think Katie and Schwartz like share a credit card for something? I would be like, how about he like doesn't change his like banking passwords? Oh, I would like buy. A I'd bunch be like, of- I'm buying a first class one way ticket for me and Christina yeah. Kelly on your fucking dime home. And then I'm buying a ticket just to Paris for that. I'm not actually going to go on, but I'm just going to buy it. Yeah. And then we can talk later Mm -hmm. and then you make yourself so mysterious and unavailable that they have like an inner spiral that would get like stomach problems from being so nervous. That would have been a great revenge is not saying anything and just buying a first class ticket home Mm -hmm. on Tom's credit card. Yeah. Perfect. But no. But instead they're eating dinner at like another restaurant at the resort and Schwartz comes in. (laughs) This Katie's plot line is truly like. I it's so hard to watch. This is like it's like you are This is like what not to do, ladies. Like don't <laughs> go to do a, anything. Don't put a beret on. Don't, don't go like, to a wedding on it. Don't, don't go to a wedding you're not invited to and decide to like lurk and scowl <laughs> and eat in full view next to the rece- every event that she's eating right next to it. I understand you like want to film and be in the episode, but like god yeah i yeah i get it it's like she's getting her paycheck but like damn yeah there's a way to do it where you don't end up looking like just such a sad sack and then tom comes like he's like mr willy we willy winky comes traipsing over the pumpkin patch he scares me he scares me too because he wants to come and just see her pain men who act like this or anyone actually who act like sweet mango snore anyone who like the last time they talked or like the last interaction was katie texting him all the shit and then he comes in and acts like nothing is oh, wrong hi bubba not even that he's like hey guys I just wanted to come and see how you're doing like check in like he's bubbly and katie is fuming yeah he's disgusting drunk he's sunburnt yeah he's horrible and he's like just makes all these excuses and like it's awful. She's like, I, I asked you not to do this and you did it. He was willing, willing, willing. She goes, I think you're pathetic, a drunk, and a loser. I, that I was I like, to okay, go, good yes. for you. Yeah. And he's like, she's like well, she's like, you don't respect my feelings. Like, you clearly don't care about how I feel. And he was like, your feelings are. It's fucked up sometimes or something like basically i'm like this is the worst person this is such a horrible relationship yeah do you think katie's gonna like i want her to go like beast mode i need it it's the healing thing i like I need it to, to survive i wanted to go she hulk i'm like too invested at this point like i really don't care about like rock terrifies me and is like i need distance from her and Sandoval's sick games. But like the only thing that will truly heal me in Q2 is for Katie to go Mortal Kombat on his ass. I need her to I Rip need her to go out. deep inside. Yeah. And fully Mortal Kombat finish him. <laughs> I need her to finish him. Trade me. Trade me, she says, as she like rips his head off of his body and pulls his spine out and like whips him with it. He kind of deserves he's like the boyfriend in Midsummer. He's worse. I know, but like he's possible. he's like in the bear costume at the end. I know. I need I need Katie to I really need her. Trade me. 
Trade me. People were dying. They should. Trade me. Oh my God. Trade me. I really need someone who has like animation capabilities to make a Vanderpump Rules video game that is just a fighting game like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. And Celebrity need- Deathmatch. It's celebrity, but only the cast of Vanderpump <laughs> Rules, but like every even tertiary character is involved. Oh, yeah. And like they literally you can like end people with the most violent deaths we've ever seen. Miami girl. Miami girl. She's like a low key. Like <laughs> she's like the Yoshi of it. Finish him. Finish him. Trade me. Yeah. Say trade me again. Trade me. Someone goes, you're Black Phillip. He pushes, he literally pushes Katie to a place of becoming Black Phillip she from the, the beach. <laughs> she, he we pushes her same time. to literal the Black beach. Phillip. If you're dating someone and they get you into Black Phillip mode, you must finish them. Dream me. Dream me. <laughs> I've never heard a deeper voice in my life than Laura going, like, I can't even go that deep. Trade me. Trade me. <laughs> I need... I need getting a fucking... Sir Fighter, <laughs> which is Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, but in the Sir universe. You Christina. could fight as Lisa. You could fight as Ken. You could fight as Guillermo. You could fight as Guillermo or... Natalia. Who, Natalia. <laughs> you could fight as Dodie. You could fight as Pandora. You could fight as even Pandora, you could fight as Jiggy, honestly. <laughs> Jiggy's a fucking fighter. <laughs> Wait. <coughs> um These mirrored men that are dancing, that was like summoning. Yeah, that was that conjured. Was, uh, Sheena's been conjuring at this wedding. Those Ra- drums and like fire dancers and these mirrored men. I was like, what is she up to? Raquel goes, Lala, can I talk to you for us? And she's like, yeah, okay, let's go. They sit down. And then Lala and her just kind of have it out about like the Vegas of it all. And Raquel's like, you were being kind of mean girl to me in Vegas. And Lala's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. We were very kind. We didn't judge you for one second. (laughs) I was like, you're a liar, but that's fine. Raquel goes, I felt as though maybe you were laughing at me and not with me. Lala's like, no, girl, we love you. We love every second that we just do you. You We were loving it. You were were slay. And she goes, yeah, I was really drunk. And she goes, and listen, it's Vegas. She was, I get it. Like, you, there's no it. problem with that. I was like, literally, you are Wait. saying the opposite of what you said, but it's fine. We'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> but <laughs> all I was like, you really freak me out. Just like, you're freaking me out. You're going man to man and you're like fucking everyone's man. And Raquel goes, it seems like you guys need to take up a hobby. You're so obsessed with me. I was like, "That's you should not say that to Lala Ken. And she goes, well, I think you get your worth from men and that you're heading towards a mental breakdown. So I'll be there for you when it happens. Sending I was love. like, hmm? and Raquel goes, okay, well, I always, I always want support and love. And, Ra- and, Lala's and Lala's like, goodbye. Going. Yeah. She was right. She Sorry. really was right. You said also that, you know why also Christina Kelly is a horrible friend and then we'll end this cursed pod. I'm not, I'm not hurrying us. Do I seem like I am? No, I'm just saying. (laughs) It's been a long, it's been a long recording. What is it? How much? (laughs) No, it's one, like almost an hour and a half. They, people love it. But, but but Lala also goes, Raquel goes, she goes, I made out with Tom Schwartz. There's a million other things I could have done that are worse. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, you're doing you, them now. You're doing them now. You are a fucker. I went to our people and go, you fuck face. Listen to you now. Like what? How are these people? How? The, oh, the lack of awareness. But I guess like the fact that things haven't gone to a place of like, violence like true violence between cast members yeah well it has before yeah between like Sh- sando and jacks blood blood and saucy slapped <laughs> Kristen. that was shonky. she beat on her 
she beat a woman on camera. I think <laughs> could never be me. I think off camera things go down. Join me, join me. But I do think that this was an incredibly ter- I was terrified when Raquel said that. I was I actually went ah! I'm entering a place of Vanderpump Rules has never done this to me where it makes me feel like sick with dread. It's dread heavy. And fear. I have legit fear for like everyone's future when I watch this. Wait, what did I say we were watching? Oh, you were just like, Katie's hairstyle is like a pumpkin head and it is like a little pumpkin stem. (laughs) And I was like, this is another reason why Christina Kelly needs to be fired. As a friend? As a friend. Because if you... I would. I will say, out, if I came out in a pumpkin, I would never head, let you have that hair. I know. I I might be like everyone always says, you're so nice, you wouldn't tell me anything. No, if you, I know you wouldn't let me go pumpkin. If head. you had a fucking pumpkin head, I said, take. I'd say take the bun out, Laura. Can you just you're let like, it go down? Yeah. But no, Christina Kelly lets her squash it up. Christina like, Kelly gore. probably was like, wear it up. You know what? <laughs> your hair looks really good. Your hair looks really good to have up up down on a little pumpkin head with a little clippy. You look a gourd. That's a really cute. You're like a summer squash. And she's like, really? And she's like, yeah, do it up and make it a little more. No, no, that isn't. A... You're a bad female friend. You know what I would do in that moment? Right to the airport. I take her. That's I... airport hair. That's airport hair. That's layover hair. I would take her straight to Cancun International and straight to Cedars. I would go get on that jet blue right now. We're going on jet blue. You're allowed to. That's jet blue hair. Mm-hmm. You are allowed to be in mint with that hair. Yeah. You are not allowed to be on camera on national television with gourd hair. No, you can't be squash girl. And I, I think Katie. I just root for. I really. I know. Root for I her. do too. Because she's hot and like great, and I she's love got Katie. This. She's got it going on. But also that guy from next week's episode no, is not it either. Like weird weird Al. Al Yankovic. This is what's happening. The Gen Z Weird Al. I, mean, I know it's hard out there <laughs> to like fucking get a guy to go on a date, but like, god damn. I know. I mean, it's. But the, I would hire someone at this point. I would hire a gigolo. How? First of all. Second of all. First of all, Christina Kelly, fuck you for that. Christina that is Kelly is probably like, I have a great friend I want to introduce you to. <laughs> <laughs> so he's really into you. Gord, check. Keep Weird that hair. Yankovic. Keep that hairstyle. Keep that hair, girl. You should rock that girl. She goes, she goes boots. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, you slay with that hair. And Chris, and also, like, just like, I love being like, Tom and Raquel are probably going to walk down the aisle. Do you want to look? <laughs> I want to. I want to check it out. I just want to see. Let's go. You're look. so mean. Gord. She scares me in a different way. I'm at once like terrified by everything Christina <laughs> Kelly does, and then just the other direction, I have eyes on Raquel and every terrifying thing she and Tom are doing. Watching this season is Silencio in Mahone Drive. It we're, is we're vibrating in the Ace Theater. I literally am like. Trade me, trade me. <laughs> I'm terrified of Raquel. I don't want her anywhere near. No, me. I, I'm afraid of her. Like, even though I like haven't fucked anyone in like a year, I'm still like stay away from Raquel. Yeah, I don't want her near. What is what? Mach- what is she gonna try to fuck you? What machinations does she have? What she's capable of anything. She is. That's her right there. Was she always like this, or did something change? I think you're always like that. I'm so curious. I think your nature is your nature. She has some, she's a deep, there's something off with her. What's her like villain origin story? I feel like something had to have happened to make her feel so comfortable and get so much pleasure out of this. She got. I want her and Tom in couples therapy next season. Producers, make it happen. Or make else. it happen. Treat me. Treat me. <laughs> <laughs> Treat me. I have a list, Sheena Shea style. Of everything producers need to be on next season. We'll talk about it tomorrow. And we'll talk about that tomorrow. But first, have first you heard? First, we need to end this episode. Yeah, we've got to end. Good Guys, night. we love you. Should we do the cult? <gasps> yes. Thank you so much for reminding me, my God. Trade me. Trade me. Okay, cult members. We're looking at you right now. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Prat. Prat. Prata. 
Pratum. Pratum. You guys, if you're cult members, you should put your whole name because otherwise it's just going to be yeah. a first name. And then I, I don't, I want to really recognize you for being you. So that's why I want to say your whole name. So if you don't put your name, I'm going to guess and probably mispronounce it. And if you want to be ambitious, t- let us know how you want your name to be pronounced. All that shit. If fictitious, I throw fishes. I put the boys on lock, lock, and they be that's riding Raquel. down the block just the, to watch what, what I got. got. She is. She's taste How come every time I come around, my Raquel, Raquel, <laughs> my Raquel, Raquel <laughs> pennies wanna come down like Raquel, 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 we coming down. <laughs> Can you imagine her like cocaine's like leaving the fire pit? What drugs does she do? Does Molly. she just get fucked up? Like I need to know I think so she, I think much they all more. Do Molly. I think they've gone away from Coke and maybe do Molly now. Yeah. Mary Lindsay. Mary Lindsay. We love you. Rochelle Martino, you're the one. Hillary Morrow. Danielle, Hillary Morrow, you broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Morrow, the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> Nick Sidieris. I like your last name. Emily Fallon. Emily Fallon. Rock on. Kim Lucas. My woman king. (laughs) That's it. We love you. Love and light. Love and light. Bye.